Hello everyone and welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. In today's video, we are going to talk about Azure AD Connect staging mode. We will explore what staging mode is, how to convert Azure AD Connect active mode to staging mode, and how to set up a new Azure AD Connect server for high availability. So let's get started. To understand staging mode, let's take a look at this deck. When you install Azure AD Connect in active mode, Azure AD Connect runs six sync cycles two import cycles, two synchronization cycles, and two export sync cycles. But when Azure AD Connect runs in staging mode, Azure AD Connect only runs import and synchronization services. It doesn't run export sync cycle. That means if you make any changes in Active Directory, those changes are not exported to Azure Active Directory or vice versa. Now the question arises, why do we need Azure AD Connect in staging mode? There can be multiple scenarios where you would require to set up Azure AD Connect in staging mode. One of the reasons can be high availability. Let's assume we have installed Azure AD Connect in active mode on this server, and because of some reasons, this server goes down, and we do not have access to this Azure AD Connect server. So if we'll make any changes in Active Directory, those changes will not synchronize to Azure AD. So to meet high availability, we can install Azure AD Connect on another Windows server in staging mode. And if one server that has Azure AD Connect running in active mode goes down, we can convert the Azure AD Connect server running in staging mode to the active mode. So this way we can have two copies of Azure AD Connect server, one in active mode and one in staging mode. The other requirement for a staging mode server is when you want to install Azure AD Connect on a new server and want to decommission the old server. Let's assume we have installed Azure AD Connect in active mode on this server. But for some reasons, we want to install Azure AD Connect on a different server. So in this scenario, we will convert active mode to staging mode on the current server, and we will install Azure AD Connect on the other server in active mode. And then we can decommission the old server. And the third requirement for a staging mode Azure AD Connect server can be, we want to use Azure AD Connect for testing purpose before we start exporting changes to Azure Active Directory. And once we make sure Azure AD Connect is configured as per the business requirements, and it is working as expected, we can convert staging mode to the active mode. If you want to verify if Azure AD Connect server is running in active mode or staging mode, you need to go to the Azure AD Connect server, open Windows PowerShell, and run get hyphen ad sync scheduler. Now here you will see one attribute that says staging mode enabled. If this particular attribute is set to false, that means this particular Azure AD Connect server is running in active mode. And if this attribute is set to true, that means this particular Azure AD Connect server is running in staging mode. You might have come across this issue where whatever changes you do in Active Directory, those changes do not reflect in Azure AD. The one of the reasons for this issue can be this. If Azure AD Connect server is running in staging mode, it will not run export cycle and changes will not reflect in Azure AD. Now let's assume we want to install Azure AD Connect on a different server, or I need two Azure AD Connect installations, one in active mode and one in staging mode, so that if one server goes down, I can make other Azure AD Connect server active. So first, we will convert this Azure AD Connect to staging mode. But before that, let me run a sync from this Azure AD Connect server. And let's go to Synchronization Service Manager. And here we can see it is running import. I just want to show you the six sync cycles that Azure AD Connect run whenever you run Delta or initial sync. So now it is running synchronization. So here we can see it is running six sync cycles, two import cycles, two synchronization cycles, and two export cycles. So this also indicates that this particular Azure AD Connect server is running in active mode. So now let's convert this server to staging mode. And to do this, you will go to Azure AD Connect wizard, click configure, and here you will select configure staging mode. Click next. Here you will type the credentials or the password for the global administrator for your Azure AD tenant. And under configure staging mode, you will check enable staging mode option and click next. 
click configure so it says staging mode has been successfully enabled click exit and now let's run get hyphen ad sync scheduler and now it says staging mode enabled true and if we run sync cycle and let's go to synchronization service manager so here we can see it is running delta import and we can see two synchronization cycles but there is no export cycle now we will go to another windows server and we will install azure ad connect on this particular server this is windows server 2019 and this machine is joined with domain controller if you want to install azure ad connect on windows server make sure that machine is joined with your on-premises domain and if you want to learn how to install azure ad connect in detail i have mentioned link for that video in description you can go through that after this video i have azure ad connect setup file downloaded so let's open this file click i agree continue express settings so we are going to install this particular azure ad connect server in active mode here we will type the credentials for azure active directory global administrator click next under connect to adds you need to type the enterprise credentials of your on premises active directory select continue without matching upn click next and under ready to configure click install so now we have installed azure ad connect in active mode and let's go to synchronization service manager so it is running import synchronization and export so we can see all sync cycles are running now let's assume for some reasons this server is down or this server is not booting up but luckily we have another installation of azure ad connect on other server that is running in staging mode so we will go to the other server and we will convert this azure ad connect staging mode to active mode and to convert this server to active mode we will again go to azure ad connect wizard click configure and click configure staging mode next we will type the password for azure ad global administrator and we will uncheck this option that says enable staging mode and click next click configure so it says staging mode has been successfully disabled click exit and let's go back to powershell and let's run get hyphen ad sync scheduler and now it says staging mode enabled false so now this server is running in active mode and let's go back to synchronization service manager and now we can see import synchronization and export all sync cycles are running so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to stay updated and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video